Hi everybody, in the last video we were talking about Gibbs paradox and uh, uh, which is a paradoxical situation where we expect entropy change equal to zero but we get entropy change as positive. It was Gibbs who proposed a remedy to avoid, to overcome this paradox. Okay, so Gibbs actually proposed a remedy for this. The remedy proposed by him was uh, divide gamma or sigma by a factor n factorial. So what we have to do uh, to uh, overcome or uh, avoid the paradox, Gibbs paradox is divide gamma or sigma by n factorial. Okay, we know this is gamma, gamma, we, we know log gamma is equal to log sigma that we have seen. Okay, so what we do is um, gamma or sigma, we are dividing it by n factorial. And as we take log gamma, which is equal to log sigma, this will be as usual n log v by hq, we are taking logarithm. So 3n by 2 log 2 pi m e and we apply the Stirling's. Uh, approximation so 3n by 2 factorial log 3n by 2 factorial will be 3n my uh, 3n by 2 log 3n by 2 minus 3n by 2 and log n factorial will be n log n minus n okay and we apply the negative sign so this is n log v by h cube v by n h cube this n comes from this i am combining these two Okay, log v by h cube and minus uh, log n. So v by n h cube and we have this uh, 2 log 2 pi m e that is combining with this. So I have this 4 pi m e by 3 n to the power 3 by 2, 5 by 2 n. This thing 3 n by 2 combines with n forming 5 by 2 n. So anyway I have this relation n log v by n h cube this. Okay. Now, I do one thing, I take this h cube inside this. Okay, h cube is here, I am taking it inside this. We know the power here is 3 by 2, so I have to make this h square. So, h cube as it goes inside, it becomes h square. And uh, I am writing this product as sum. So, n k log v by n plus n k log 4 pi m e by 3 n square to the power 3 by 2, 5 by 2 n k. So, again for E, for energy I am giving 3 by 2 and KT, so that is given here and finally I get this relation S equal to NK log V by N plus 3 by 2 NK 5 by 3 plus log 2 pi M KT by S square. So, here we have V by N. In the earlier expression for entropy, there we had just, okay, in the earlier expression, see here we had only V n k log v this was the expression but here i have this log v by n so when i divide it by n factorial when i divide sigma by n factorial uh, i will get this v by n here uh, and some changes here you can notice this will be 5 by 3 rest is rest is same and this is actually extensive okay in the earlier expression, we, we know entropy is not extensive, but here it is extensive because if we uh, consider S prime, okay, what is S prime? The entropy of the system when the size of the system increases by a factor p, that is S prime. So when it increases by a factor p, this will be pn, okay, S prime will be pn, here it will be pv, it will be pn here also pn. So, here p comes here in, in the numerator and denominator, they get cancelled. So, I will get back p by n. Here I will have p, here also I will have p and s prime will be p times s. So, this expression is extensive, truly extensive because of this v by n here, it will be, it will be extensive. And this equation is referred to as Sackur Tetrode equation. Okay, Sackur Tetrode equation, this is the equation for the 
ex, uh, real correct expression for entropy which is the Sackur tetrode equation. So, which is uh, written in this form and uh, if, we, if we now mix two samples of the same gas with the same initial uh, densities, particle densities at a common initial temperature T, before mixing this will be the expression for entropy, okay. this will be the expression for entropy, this is for the gas, first gas and for the second gas. Actually, both gases are same, but their volume number of particles are different. Particle densities are same. So, this will be the total entropy before mixing and after mixing. This will be the entropy, okay, 3 by 2 uh, and 1 plus N2 because this is the total number of particles, same type of gases, okay. And if I take Sb minus Sa, the net increase in entropy, I will get this expression. Okay, I have K times N1 plus N2 log V1 plus V2. Okay, and this this thing and this thing that will have minus N1 uh, log V1 by N1 minus N2 log V2 by N2. Okay, now the particle densities are same. Okay, so N1 log V1 plus V2 by N1 plus N2 minus N1 log v1 by n1 that will be 0. Same way n2 log v1 plus v2 by n1 plus n2 minus n2 log v2 by n2 that will be 0. So, this term will be this term in the square bracket will be 0 because particle densities are equal. Okay. So, the change in entropy the net change in entropy S B minus S A net increase in entropy that will be equal to 0. So, the paradox of Gibbs is hereby resolved. So, just by dividing the sigma or gamma by n factorial, we get an expression for entropy which is extensive and that clearly solves the Gibbs paradox. Now, from this equation, the new equation, the Sackur tetrode equation, here we have the entropy S and uh, as we did before in thermodynamics of the ideal gas, I am uh, taking this phi by 2 n k here S minus phi by 2 n k dividing it by n k and I have this log this quantity and uh, 2 S by 3 n k. Okay, I am multiplying with the 2 by 3 here, multiplying this equation with 2 by 3. So, 2 s by 3 n k minus y by 3 that is equal to log okay, e to the power 2 n to the power 2 h square 4 pi m e by 3 n. So, from this I can find energy. So, energy is 3 h square n to the power 5 by 3 4 pi m e to the power exponential 2 s by 3 n k minus y by 3. So, this is the expression for energy. This expression, so this is the true expression for en energy. Okay because this is now derived from the correct expression for entropy. Um, okay. Now, the thermodynamic results which we derived earlier in the previous section that will remain unchanged. Okay. That will remain unchanged, there will not be any change. If we calculate the thermodynamic properties from this, the early, we will be getting the earlier results. So, there will be no change in the results. But there we had not calculated chemical potential. We did not calculate chemical potential mu that we are doing now here. Mu is do E by do n when volume and entropy are constants. Okay, I have to differentiate this thing with respect to n. So, here is you see n is present here, n is also present here. So, we have to apply the product rule. So, we will have to apply the product rule. So, as I uh, differentiate this by applying the product rule, I will get this expression okay, and then this will be mu, mu in terms of um, entropy I am writing by cancellation and all, I will get, uh, uh, I am writing in terms of energy, okay, in terms of energy, energy is this, I am writing in terms of energy, so mu is equal to E times this. 
okay so mu equal to 5 by 3 e by n minus 2 s e by 3 n square k and why i am multiplying with e i am substituting 3 by 2 n kt for energy as we did before i am giving 3 by 2 n kt for energy so i will get 5 by 2 n kt by n here t s by n here mu equal to 1 by n e plus this 5 by 2 n kt is e plus p v why because E is 3 by 2 NKT, PV is NKT. E is 3 by 2 NKT, PV is NKT. So as you add E plus PV, you will get 5 by 2 NKT. So this is E plus PV and this is minus TS and N which is present in denominator in both the terms. It can be taken as common factor. So mu is equal to 1 by NG. G is equal to mu N. So we get an, an important result. Gibbs free energy is chemical potential times the total number of particles present in the system. So G equal to mu n. So we will be using this uh, expression at many places. Okay. So we have shown G equal to mu n for the ideal uh, classical gas. And if I if I take logarithm of energy. I will I will be getting this. Uh, we know uh, the energy is given by this. Okay, energy is this. I am taking logarithm of this. So as, as I take logarithm, I will get this, and from this, I am taking this three square this quantity to the left hand side. Okay, and. Uh, uh, this will be if I put a negative sign here. If I put a negative sign here, I will have 5 by 3 minus 2s by 3 nk. And that negative sign here, as it moves here, that will invert this. So I will have this expression here. And uh, if I multiply this with e, I am multiplying this with e. So I will have e uh, n. I am taking n as a common factor here. So 5 by 3 n here minus 2s by 3 n square k. Okay. I am taking n as a common factor here. So n will come here. This will become n square. So I have this. And why I am writing this? I am writing this because e times 5 by 3 n minus 2s by 3 n square k. That is mu. Okay. That is mu we had got it here e mu equal to this so i can write this as n mu okay and i am writing this e as 3 by 2 n kt so here i have n mu so mu will be this n will n will get cancelled so mu will be this okay mu equal to kt log this uh, this can be returned by taking the 3 by 2 power here i will have uh, n uh, n to the power uh, here I have n to the power 5 by 3 and n here so that will make that will combine and the power 3 by 2 give, give one here I will have n here I have v to the power 2 by 3 and this power will make, may, will make it v so n by v rest of the terms will be h square by 2 pi m k t to the power 3 by 2. So, mu equal to kt log n by v a square by 2 pi m kt to the power 3 by 2. <coughs> so, I get an expression for mu. Okay, so we have, we are deriving an equation for mu which is an intensive quantity that you can check because mu, uh, mu prime will be equal to mu. Okay, as we increase the size of the system by a factor p, this will become pn, this will become pv, p will get cancelled, so mu prime will be equal to mu, so mu is an intensive quantity as expected, uh, the mu we know is uh, is an intensive quantity. So we have found out an expression for mu, okay, now we find an expression for the Helmholtz free energy which is E minus T s 
which can be also written as g minus p v that we have seen g is mu n p v is n k t so mu n minus n k t so this is n mu minus k t mu we know it is this so we are plugging in this mu here so n k t log n by v that is plugged in here so a is equal to n k t log n by v ok s square by 2 pi m k t to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 so this is the expression for Helmholtz energy and uh, we can see which is a extensive quantity ok a prime will be equal to p a because this will become p n uh, ok when we calculate a prime this will become p n this will become p n this will, this will become p v that will that two will get cancelled that p will get cancelled so you will get p a a prime equal to p a so a is an extensive quantity ok so actually we did not calculate chemical potential or Helmholtz free energy uh, these things were not calculated in the previous section because we did not have a correct expression for entropy ok now we have correct expression for entropy so we have correct expression for energy correct expression for chemical potential correct expression for Helmholtz free energy Okay.